Hi, this is Mr. Weston. Today we're doing a math drills tutorial on percent calculations. Of course, you can check out math drills for tons of other great resources. Make sure to check out all their resources and worksheets in the link below. So first off, when we're calculating percentages, let's kind of understand what we're talking about. What is 37% of 600 is the first question. Let's go actually down here for question nine. What is 58% of 750? So this is kind of like the the main way people like to think of it, 58% of a number. So only a portion of it. So a little bit more than half if we're talking about 58%. This is also equal to 0.58 times 750. So 0.58 is the decimal form of that percentage. But we also can put it as a fraction, 58 out of 100 times 750 over 1. Okay, so a couple different ways. I'm actually going to use a variation of this last one because I think this is going to be super useful. It's kind of like a math hack. And let me show you how that works. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just change this to 58 over 1, okay, times 1 over 100 times 750 over 1. I can do that, okay. That's keeping all the same principles intact. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this 100 over here, okay? This times 1 essentially goes away when you multiply by 1. It just stays the same. And now I just have 58 times 750 over 100. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I know that I can cancel out a 0 here. And then I have 75 divided by 10, which I know is 7.5. Now I have a much easier problem, which is 58 times 7.5. It's much easier than trying to calculate 58% 50, of 750. So let me go ahead and show you how that works for this. This is a tough one actually we began on. So we have 58 times 7.5. And actually I want to put that 7.5 on top. Uh, I just, it, out of preference, I like putting the bigger number on top. So I have, um, I know there's a decimal, but the digits are bigger. So I have, I'm going to do 8 times 5, which is 40. I'm going to do 8 times 7, 56, plus 4 is going to take me to 60. Then I put a 0 here, 25. I'm going to cross this off, 2. 5 times 7 is 35, plus the 2 is 37. 35 plus 2 is 37. Okay, and then I'm going to have 0, 5, that's 13, carry the 1, 4. And I need to move the decimal place over a total of 1 time. So I need to move it 1 time here. So I get 400. 35. And again, if you put this on your calculator, for you can see that I have it uh, demonstrated here, perfect for a calculator right here, you're going to get the same thing. You're going to get 435. Now, let me show you the power of that method with some of these other ones. So, for example, 37%, another way of expressing that last idea that I had is just changing it. Let me change it to blue. Changing it from 37% of 600 to 600% of 37. Notice how I had, remember how I had that 600 over 100? That essentially means percent, 600 percent. This is the same thing. 600 and that zero looks kind of terrible. That's the same thing. And the reason why that's useful is when you calculate this to be a decimal, okay, convert it to be a decimal, this just becomes six. You divide by 100, okay, that cancels away. And we have six. Of means times in math. Whoops, let's just keep consistent here. So I just do 37 times 6. It's a much easier problem than calculating 37% uh, out of 600. So 37 times 6. I'm going to stay here. 42. Okay, 6 times 18, 22. So 222. This would be way tougher to do uh, in, in a different way. Now, the other way to do it, just in case your teacher doesn't explain it this way, is to, do, to find 30%, which is a component of... 10% times 3, because 10% would just be moved over one time. That's 60 times 3. And then to find 1%, 1% would be just 6. That's a terrible looking 1%. Let me move this over here. Okay. And that would be 6. And then we would multiply that by 7, which is 42. So then I have 180 plus 42, which of course, well, let's see, hold on. This is 180 plus 42. And that gives you the same thing. So that's a different way to do it. I think uh, converting it into a different percentage problem makes it a little bit easier. This one might be easier to do a uh, component of 50% plus 1%. That one's a pretty simple one because what we can do here is 50% uh, 50 plus 1%. 
pretty simple, okay? Because 1% of 200 would just be 2, and then 50% is just half. So then it'd be 100 plus 2, 102. Or, again, the other way I recommend it is change it to 200%, and then we times this by 51. So 200% times 51, that's the same thing as 2 times 51. We get the same thing, 102. And this works for every one of these, okay? So if you want to change these problems, it makes it way more simple. So something that looks really hard, 71% of 1,000, not so bad. We're going to do 71, and we're going to find 1,000% of that. Okay, And if you want to find out what the decimal you're going to multiply, just take off two zeros. So you're going to just do 10 times 71. That's easy, 710. Okay, And this works for every single one of these. And I hope you guys like this one, this little simple math hack. And if you need me to do any more of these, Go ahead and leave a comment of which number you need help with. But again, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. This one's the simplest. I appreciate you watching this video. I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.